Okay, so let's do the smart form scenario wherein we have ZVA underscore SF is what the smart form name that I'm giving here. Now in this, uh, I'm going ahead with this uh, main page. So our main agenda of this project is to just simply create a page in which we'll have some static data. Just let's print some static data here and then we'll go ahead with the dynamic data. So for that, we'll if you click on the form painter, you can see on the right side, you can see the form painter visible. Uh, now what we, what we would like to do is we would like to create some simple text in the main window, create text so here you will you will be able to see this uh, uh, word document kind of a thing here and here i'll write something like sample text save it I'm as of now clicking on local object, but we can create a package and do that. So we can create a package here. Now, once it's been done, sample text. Now you can go ahead with activate. So once it's activated, so it's activated now. So this data that we have here is something which we have it like, uh, we'll have it like, uh, this is a text that we have. This is a, um, you know, sample, uh, this is a static text actually, sample text is static text. Now what we'll do is we will, we can activate it and execute it from here itself. So a default uh, function model gets generated here. So we can activate this. LP0 is a default printer. This is a this is for preview of data. So sample text is coming here. Now what we have to do is we have to go and link this to our uh, program. So how do we link to link this to our program? Is when we execute this, you will get this uh, function model name. This is a function model name which we need to call it in our program is studied. So I'll write a program here, ZBA underscore smartform, just, just it here. create
so we have this pattern and the pattern in the place of function model we need to give that function model i'm sorry so this function model name should be the the one which we have here this is the function model name that we need to copy how did we get this function model name is when we create a smart form and click on execute you will get this smart form name here. so you have to give that give that function model name here so okay now this function model name that is auto generated this is a dynamically generated function model name which actually links our program with the with the smart form so once we activate this and execute you will and uh, will give the default printer as lp01 and say print preview you will get this sample text here now going forward what we will do is we will we will design the dynamic text in the same one and we will do it so this is a simple example wherein we are actually designing a smart form and then we are making use of that smart form in our uh, s38 program 